What is going on guys? In today's video we're going to be taking a look at this crappy old computer because I'm going to show you how to run a very basic um, Plex media server. So the first thing you're going to need is basically a base computer. I'm running a, this is a uh, Intel 775 socket um, motherboard. I've got a Q6600 under here. I've got 4 gigs of DDR2, 800 RAM. I've got a GT220, it's just a crappy graphics card that I use because it's got HDMI out. Um, as you can see there is no drives in here, that is because we're going to throw in this Kingston 60 gig SSD that I just picked up off Amazon um, early this week. It was really cheap so I just thought I grabbed it and we're going to be using a 1TB Seagate Barracuda as the media drive. Um, it's going to be a very basic setup. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put throw the both the drives in. I'm going to install Windows, uh, get everything ready to install Plex, and then we'll take it from there. I am not going to show you how to install Windows because that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to show you how to put two drives in because there's other videos on YouTube to do that. Um, this is not a walkthrough how to build a computer. I don't do that stuff. This is just a very simple video um, that I thought I'd throw together while well, I've just got five minutes with this computer before I do something else with it. So yeah, get ready, strap in, get ready for a very boring video. Just let us escape 
Okay, I've gone ahead and installed the network drivers on the computer and I've um, downloaded Plex. So all we need to do is um, install Plex and put some media on the drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to format the one terabyte drive. I'm just going to load up Disk Manager here and do it here. New simple volume, next, next. Yeah, we're going to call it, give it the drive letter V. I'm going to call it one terabyte media. And then once it's um, done its format and Windows has picked it up, we're going to create some subfolders in it. Um, one for movies, one for TV shows, just so Plex knows what it's doing. Painfully simple. There we go. TV, oh, would it help if I could spell it right without putting a P in it? Wow. There we go. TV shows. Um, and we're done in there for now. Um, we'll start putting some media in there in a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and install Plex. So we're going to hit install and then click the UAC on yes. It's initializing. Um, shouldn't take too long, especially with this SSD in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close Internet Explorer. Now I just had it open to check the internet was working. So yeah, once this is finished installing, it probably will open Internet Explorer um, because you do all of the settings and everything within a web browser. So it's very very clean. Um, you don't really need a very good PC to run this. You just need um, a PC that can basically hold a lot of storage if you've got loads of media like me. But if you start transcoding stuff, um, you're going to need a beefy CPU. I'll talk about that later on. But yeah, here we go. It's no finish now. It's pretty much near the end. So I won't do any cuts. But yeah, Plex is a pretty awesome media um, media program if you haven't heard of it basically what it does it organizes all of your media into what they are like films tv shows you can play music through it, you can put your pictures on it um, and you can stream it to like any device in your home or out of your home if you set up the forwarding on it which i think is pretty goddamn awesome that's why i've been using it for so long so here we go it's loading up slowly but apparently it says it's done so i'm guessing it doesn't work in Internet Explorer, so what I'm going to go do... Oh, no, it's actually loading something now. I was about to go grab Chrome, but I'm not going to. We're going to hit Agree. Um, just said, wait a moment, and I've got another white screen. I have no idea what it's doing, but we'll soon see. Um, please wait a moment while Plex starts. It's running. It's, it's running. I'm going to go ahead and drag this so I can see it. Um, I'm guessing it's just starting the service and that in the background. So, yeah. Please wait a moment. Hopefully this isn't an, an Apple moment where it takes forever. One can hope. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump to when it's finished. So for you guys it will be like a split second, but for me it's going to be a few few minutes. Okay, so we're here at the uh, basic settings part. So I'm going to go ahead and input all of this um, pretty quick. So I'm not going to send feedback because there's really no point. So the friendly name, I'm going to call it Plex Media Server, which is basically what I've just called the computer. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a library. Now, this is where you tell Plex where your... Um, where... Why is this not working? Basically, you tell Plex where your um, media is sat. So, if for some reason I can't click Add Library, it's throwing some errors. I'm probably Internet Explorer has been shit. Um, I don't know. There are errors. Just fuck it, let me add a library! You know what? We're going to go ahead and download Chrome. Okay, so I've got Plex installed, um, just starting it all over again. Well, I think it'll start all over again, I don't know, it just says please wait a moment. Once again, so while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and unpin that pile of crap. So I have um, put some movies on, I'm not going to tell you what they are yet, because Plex will tell you. Um, I've only done three because um, my copy speeds are really slow, because this computer's um, connected to a 100 meg switch, which means it's really slow at copying stuff, because all the films I download are like 1080p or 720p, so they're huge. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what to do right now because I can't do anything, so as soon as this is finished, we'll be back. Chop, chop. Okay, so we're back, and it's back at this point again, so maybe it will work if I click Add Library. There we go. 
So um, we're going to add the movies one first. Um, we're going to call it movies. Click next and then browse for the folder. So the drive is D. No, it's not. It's E. And it's movies. They so I've got the three films. Pretty awesome. Um, click add library and um, it creates the item at the bottom. You can see here. And we're going to add another library. We're going to add TV shows. Now there's nothing in this one, so it probably won't do anything. Um, but it's just there for when we do. So click add, add to library. Click next. Um, we're not going to install any channels because it's pointless. Um, basically, you can get a Plex Pass as well, which um, gives you enhanced features, but you have to pay for it. Um, but yeah, I haven't got it. So right now, you can see we've got these three films. They've got no artwork covers because that is because it is matching them. So it's going on the internet, getting the artwork cover, telling us everyone that's in the film, um, giving us a brief description. Um, and I think it gives you related films um, or films with the same characters in. Sorry, not the same characters, the same actors in or actresses. I'm not 100% sure on that last one, um, but I'm sure there is somewhere. Now, because my internet's being like utter crap right now, this is going to take forever. So um, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. And when it's done, you will see the, the, um, the, the results. Because that's what happens when it's finished. You see the results. Okay, so it says it's finished, but as you can see, we've got no artwork, and I've just clicked on all of them, and there is nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my personal Plex library, um, just to show you what actually you can see, um, what it looks like when it's done. Um, and then I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So bear with me, guys, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is my personal um, library that uh, runs off the back of my... Um, my massive files, well it's not really massive file server, it's got loads of space, the 12 terabyte one um, that I've just upgraded a few months ago now. Um, there's a load of videos about that if you want to go see that, um, click somewhere on the screen. Um, I'll probably put it somewhere. So if you want to go check them out, it's, it's a three-parter. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check that out and like geeky stuff, go ahead and click on the screen somewhere. So this is basically what it looks like once you've got all your films in. Now I've got absolutely tons of films as you can see. Some of these you'll be like, oh my god, I haven't seen that in ages. And some of them you'll be like, wait, what are these? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the ones that I'd added in. So it was 21 Drum Street was one of them. So as you can see, we've got a little background. Um, we've got the album artwork. It also tells you what um, format it's in. So this is apparently SD, which is standard definition. And it's got 5.1 um, audio. It doesn't tell me what audio track it is, but it can tell it's 5.1. I have no subtitles. Um, we have a little little uh, blurb here, a few lines. Um, tells you who the directors are, the writers, and the main characters, which is pretty awesome. So it gives you a rating that I don't... You can rate it, and then there's, this is other people's ratings. Um, gives you what genre it is. So th I think Plex is one of the best things um, in the world, and, well, for media consumption anyway. And if we go ahead and look at TV shows, um, they are very, very well laid out. Um, basically, they're all in series. So if I go ahead and click on a series that's got multiple seasons, they're all laid out like this. Um, and if you want to go watch, say I want to watch season four, click on season four. And then it lays them all out like this. So you can get a little quick um, screenshot of something on that episode. It tells you the episode name, the number. Um, and this little orange dot is basically if I've watched it or not. So if you've got an orange dot, it means it is unwatched. Um, and if it's got not got it, it means it's watched. Now you can change this. Say if you know you've watched all of these once you've um, just installed Plex and you go, oh, I've already watched all the Big Bang Theory. What you can go ahead and do is click on this and then click, um, oh, where is it? There's somewhere you can basically say, um, I have watched, there we go, Mark has watched. Um, so boom like that and now every single one of these is not going to have an orange dot on it because I've told it I've watched them. Um, you can do exactly the same with your films. Now this on deck pa um, piece is basically everything that you are watching at the minute. 
So obviously it's just that I've watched that because I've just been in there. Um, America Pie 2, I've started watching that and you can also pick up where you left off. Um, and it also keeps like your TV shows and it tells you the next episode you're on. So I'm on season 4, episode 5 of Game of Thrones at the minute. Um, and also it gives you a recently added. So I've just downloaded the two Sherlock Holmes films, um, Brooklyn Nine Now and stuff like that. And you can also get something called Channels, which basically you can get like extra apps on it. So I've got the Apple Movies trailer app. We'll call it an app um, because it just shows you recent all the new trailers. Um, I sometimes go on there and watch a few trailers, um, and they're all in full HD um, because they're from Apple. Um, I've also got the SoundCloud app, and I haven't personally used this, um, but I've heard good things about it. And if you're a big SoundCloud fan like I am, you can use that. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can put this on. You can run the server just on like a little box in the corner. You can run it off your main computer. You can do anything you want. Um, and then basically what you can do, you can go to um, this page. You just go to plex.tv slash web um, slash app. And you can, on any computer in your house, and you can watch it. Um, and it basically it starts buffering off that the computer that you've got it installed on. Kind of like how YouTube works. Um, it buffers and then you start watching it. In whatever quality you want, and you can change um, change the quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Silicon Valley. Um, I'm just gonna play this second episode. We're not gonna hit play. Um, up here in the corner, we've got the cross to get out of the full screen, and then we've got this little icon, and you can change it to what bitrate you want. So I've got it in the original. We could drop it down to 320 kbs, go all the way down to 64, and it's gonna look absolutely awful. I'm gonna go ahead and mute it. Um, but basically, this is now telling my server that I want to watch it at a lower bitrate. In case if you've got like not very good internet or you just really want you watch it on a really small screen but as you see this is absolutely awful but um if you're on a mobile device this is watchable to a degree i wouldn't say 64 is but um other formats are so also it tells you what um activity you're doing so if you're if, you, if there's a few of you in the house using this um and you're all transcoding off the same box you can see what everyone else is watching and kind of spy on them. Um, and then you can be like, hey, I watched that. It was really good. And then be like, wait, what? how do you know I watched that? So that's, if you want to be awesome like that. So that's pretty much it with this Plex. If you've got any questions, drop them in the description below. Um, if you want to know how to build a file server, don't ask me. Don't ask. It's pretty, it's pretty basic. You just build a computer and do stuff. Um, if you want to share a drive, it's pretty easy. Just Google it. I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Appreciate the, if you've got it this far um, with all my technical difficulties. Um, like I said, appreciate it for the watch and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. I have no idea what I'm doing next. Um, normally I'd have some form of idea, but who knows. So yeah, check out the next video. If you want to go watch um, my server videos, like I said, there'll probably be, I'll probably put a link in the description as well as on the screen when I said. Um, so that'll be in the description. My Twitter and Instagram will be down there. If you want to go ahead and stalk me on them, you can be my guest. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.